filmed like I think like the Gorn episode of Star Trek there and some of Blazing Saddles and mm-hmm. like some other stuff. So if like you're a big nerd like and you just want to see like where like uh, what is it William Shatner like battled the Gorns like mm-hmm. you go to Vasquez Rocks. That's really cool. That's cool. That's a thing about like. California in general is having like you could go anywhere and be like yeah I was saw a movie I saw this place in movie once or even when you're just watching movies and you're like hey I've been there yeah it's always fun to identify little landmarks mm-hmm. especially if you're like hey they must have filmed that in like my neighborhood yeah yeah totally and then we have Fryman Canyon that I think is in uh, like Studio City and I think it's like a fairly fairly easy trails there. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm super out of shape, but I definitely love, like, a nice, just gentle trail, you know, stop and, um, like, appreciate your surroundings, have a drink of water, you know, nothing that's a little, like, too strenuous. Mm-hmm. So that definitely, like, that definitely fits the bill. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, the the bottom line to this is you can do anything sober. What I love about, you know, these sober date night ideas is that they're pretty much all great environments to get to know someone, especially for a first date or if you're, like, reconnecting with an old friend. It's just, if you're going to, like, a bar or a club, it's going to be loud, overpriced, and, like, I don't know. It's I've always felt this sense of, like, detachment when I go out to clubs and anything where there's just, like, this big, raucous crowd and people just there to see and be seen. Yeah, and you don't want to be, if, especially if you're in early recovery, you don't want to be around, I mean, some people can, but most people in early recovery, you don't want to be around other people who are drinking. It's just not a good idea. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not a good idea for your recovery. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. So, you know, getting sober is hard, and staying sober can be even more difficult. Uh, but with the right mindset, and by surrounding yourself with a strong support system, it makes it all worthwhile. So we've shared a few of our favorite ideas for sober dating, and now we want to hear from you. What are some of your favorite sober date ideas? Tweet us at TDH Rehab with the hashtag TDH Voice and let us know. And don't forget to tune in on February 21st when we'll be talking with a very special guest about his recovery journey. And we can't say any more right now, but just stay tuned for that. For now, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Deb. And thank you for listening to another episode of TDH Voice. Are you struggling with how to help your loved one without enabling them? Get access to our resource library by visiting www.thediscoveryhouse.com for a free guide on how to help your loved one recover or call for immediate help at 877-203-8186.